Hey guys, welcome back. Let's go talk to the fossil dude over here. Where were you? Your fossil is back to life. <laughs> that doesn't look like a fossil Pokemon to me. That was Index 204. Let me show you how I did that. Alright, the first thing you want to do is get an LM4, and that is because LM4 learns Super Glitch at level 24. LM4 is convenient for this glitch, the International Fossil Conversion Glitch, because of its loadout, and the fact that it's index 198, so this can conveniently be obtained using the Mew Glitch with a special stat of 198. The reason why its loadout is nice is because starting at level 7, it gets these moves, and what's beneficial is if you have Hypnosis at the bottom, you're pretty much all set. And that's because Body Slam is 9 characters, Double Slap is 10, Water Gun is also 9, and that gives us a total of 28, which is what we need for the required Corruption from Super Glitch. And the spaces do count, so that's why there's technically 9 characters in both Body Slam and Water Gun. Once you have that, make your way to this location, because this is like the immunity zone for Super Glitch. One of the many, actually. That's because of the terminating characters on screen. Once we try to learn Super Glitch, it should just be... well, that's a mess. It should still be okay. Not really sure why that's there, so it may have something to do with the RAM. It's funny, before this it was blank, so I don't really know why. I didn't even really do anything. It will try to evolve. Don't worry about it, just press B. Just leave it as it is. <laughs> the music will reset and get rid of its really iconic cry, honestly. <laughs> kind of like it. Anyway, so Super Glitch is in there. I didn't get any Super Glitch effects from viewing that. It's actually kind of interesting, you don't always get that all the time, even though it shows up in there. And speaking of which... Oh yeah, the music won't change, that's correct. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to the corruption spot that you need to go to. That's the next step in this, which is conveniently over here. Wow, I don't like how the music is like that. It's fine. Anyway, what you want to do is open your Pokemon screen here. You don't have to, just hit the start menu. And then go into a wild battle. This is one of the methods of getting corruption. <laughs> that music will go away now. <laughs> just get into a wild battle. Hopefully Vulpix will work. It should be okay. And all you want to do is just keep opening your fight menu until you get obvious super glitch effects, which for me, usually it says like Hydro Pump. See, that Pokemon one doesn't count. Sometimes it might be beneficial just to leave and try a different Pokemon. It seems to work better that way for me. Yeah, let's try that. Our name didn't change. That's what we're trying to get mostly, is you'll see the name change. I don't think that counts. It looks like it's like a long name. It's like that symbol from earlier. I did not mean to do that. Okay, good. If he fainted, that would have been problematic, especially if it got super glitch effects. There we go. Okay, cool. So that did work. And so with this corruption, we should be able to open our party menu, which is pretty difficult, actually, with Super Glitch. And we now have more than six Pokemon, which is what's required for the International Fossil Conversion Glitch. So now the next step is to head on to Cinnabar Island to the Pokemon Lab. Head into the office, I guess, with this dude, or the laboratory, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to save a state here. Okay, now that you've made it here with your expanded party, that was the goal of that. You want to have some fossils. I have five of them. We're not going to use all of them. And these items will be helpful later. Mostly just this. I'll get into that in a moment. Let's talk to you. <laughs> the fossil guy. He's definitely foreign. It's just... Uh, like why? He's the only one that talks strange. I guess maybe because he's supposed to be a cool scientist. <laughs> so, you hurry and give me that. I take a little time. I <laughs> just... It's just funny. Anyway, so you want to leave the laboratory. Um, you don't have to completely leave it yet, because there is something you need to do. What's most important is... Let's check this one out first. 14. 
We'll do this Machamp first. Because we are based on the attack stat. That's very important. Not the special stat, the attack stat. So 204, that gave us the Pokemon that we saw earlier. What you want to do is take this Pokemon and switch it with the 33rd slot. And so technically this Machamp is in the 6th slot. Down here is the 9th slot. So you want to start from there pretty much. So switch. So you're at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And it seems to be level 5. Just leave it there, back out, you can leave the lab. Usually you're supposed to do that when you, like, in a laboratory, but it really doesn't matter. I think you have to change it before you leave the laboratory, otherwise you'll get an Omnimite based on the Helix Fossil. Where were you? Your fossil is back to life. And then there we are, Index 204. Cool. So now, what's convenient about this, let's see here, so you got the fossil, and we're technically on the 33rd slot. What you want to do here is click on the Pokemon and go to Switch. Go all the way back up. And if you switch that way, you'll keep your Pokemon. And then you can just reset the glitch so we can do the next one. Let me save state, actually. All right, I'm gonna do that one more time. Give him the fossil. <laughs> you hurry, give me that. Very demanding. Anyway. So I have this Machamp here, the other one, at 196. This is pretty convenient. We're gonna switch in the 33rd slot again, so I'm gonna count. So we're at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. There's that level 5 Pokemon again. Leave it there. That way you can just switch back nice and easy. Speed on over here. You have to leave and then go back in. That'll reset the fossil guy, refresh him. Now you just talk to him. This one's nice because this is Pokedub Trainer Index 196. Similarly to 199, I'm sorry, not, oh yeah, 199 and 193. It has that weird effect where its front sprite will crash the game. But what's nice is that you can still get these Pokemon using this method. If you try and do it like the Mew Glitch, it won't work, because it will crash the game every time you encounter those Pokemon. Usually they'll give you an, an, an upcode, which isn't very fun. So yes. Now I'm going to skip the rest of that procedure and just show you the effect I get from attack stat 21. I about said 221 for some reason. Some people might already know what that is, but I'll see you back here at the Fossil Dude. Alrighty, let's see what he gives us. It's back to life. I didn't know Mew was a fossil. <laughs> So we get a Mew. This is one of the many methods of getting a Mew in this game. With index 21, attack stat 21 in this case, or technically special stat 21. There's so many ways to get Mew. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> There's another glitch I want to show at some later date. It requires a certain Pokemon that's easily attained in yellow, but not so much in here. Switch this back out, and then we'll see what this Butterfree will give us at attack stat. I about said 24, what is wrong with me? 14. Alrighty, a small note to make is you want to do this switcheroo into the 33rd slot after giving the fossil because if you do it before giving the fossil, it will overwrite the data of the Pokemon you put in the third slot, 33rd slot, so you'll actually lose the Pokemon you put there. So it's very important to do the proper order there. You want to give the fossil, then switch in, then leave, then go back, <laughs> to put simply. Alright, let's see what attack stat 14 will give us. That'll be Gengar. <laughs> Gengar can actually conveniently be obtained at the very beginning of this game using Death Warp. But this, which is still pretty nice, the International Fossil Conversion Glitch, because you can pretty much get any Pokemon with an index number between 1 and 255 using this glitch. So any version exclusives, tradable Pokemon, like the trade locked Pokemon, if you will, and then pretty much any of the glitch Pokemon above. 199, index 199, because as you know, the new glitch won't let you get any Pokemon after 200, or starting at 200, so it's one benefit of this glitch, but I still just like Arbitrary Code Execution the most, it's the most convenient, but this glitch is pretty fun. There is a side effect obtained from switching a Pokemon that's not normally supposed to be in the 33rd slot, which if you didn't know, all we're doing really is just modifying the game data that way, and so that modification has a side effect of screwing up our fly locations. You'll see here that First off, we're like stuck at this weird limbo state, but if you press B, it should reverse it, and you can move around. But the only ones we have right now is Center by Island and Indigo Plateau. 
And once you get in here, you kind of get stuck. But if you press B, you can actually close out of that and close out completely. We got a weird effect right there, but I'm not going to... Um... There we go. That's what I meant. <laughs> Let's try and fly to this location. Huh. Okay. Oh, wow. This is different than I was expecting. <laughs> um. Okay, so you can do this to get a corrupted trainer fight that you cannot fight. I don't want to look at my Pokemon. I probably can't run to the trainer battle, so... Oh no! If I had Master Ball at the front. I almost tempted to try that. You know what? I'll check that out really quick. And if I don't get anything from it, then we'll be back to where we were before I, w I tried to fly, if that makes sense. Alright, let's try that again, because that was a pretty interesting effect. I feel like I had to all do is like, back out and play around with it a little bit. Try that. There we go. So I got kind of weird there. There we go, cool. So I tried it once before this, and it didn't get it to work. Let's try it now. Don't be a thief. Oh cool, kicks me out. And it does that. And our menu's all messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's called Super Glitch for a reason. So that was pretty much no different than the other effect that I have yet to show. Which we'll do that just in a moment. I don't think there's any way of fixing that issue. Well, it's like the UI's all gone. And I thought this would work. You can see everything just leaves. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So if they get covered up by that. Can I actually like fly away? There we go. Okay, I'm in my party menu right now. Okay, so we just looked at the Pokedex. Alright, backed out. Go back in. Who was that? We're in the Pokedex still. Huh. Down. Pokemon. There we go. Firo, that's you. Let's fly. Aha, we're back. <laughs> okay, let's fly to a normal location and see what happens. I'm just curious. Okay, so we'll get to another battle. <laughs> it's the same thing. Alright, speed this up because it's kind of lame. It's annoying because we can't even fight. Uh, you can probably try and run away. Oh, I'm stuck. I forgot. Once you open your uh, item bag, you're stuck. And then our game crashes, which makes sense because things got real messed up there. Let's check this out one more time. Okay, the original effect I want to show is just simply obtained, I'm pretty sure, just by immediately flying. And not messing around with it. You'll get a ton of cool. And then just throw a Master Ball. You don't have to use this to escape, but you can use it to catch it and get a free ditto if you wanted. You can see everything got corrupted and we come back. Go down. Try that again, so why not? Our game will probably crash. Oh wow, the map's not even showing up. That's really odd. <laughs> well, there's a way if you try and run, the PA be like, oh, there's no running from trainer battles. <laughs> well, it'll be like ding dong out of spray balls. Here we go. Cool. Sure, I was safari balls. And then it kicks you out. That's what would happen normally if you tried to run from the tent. Cool. Okay, that's enough big enough tangent for now. Let me show you how to fix this. Alright, before we fix the fly locations, I'll show you a couple things. <laughs> First off is that we actually have a lot of Pokemon. We actually have 124, which is conveniently the same as this Jinx's Pokedex number. <laughs> so we got a random Jinx hybrid in there. That was technically the 32nd Pokemon. This is the 31st Pokemon. The 30th Pokemon will actually crash the game, but I believe the 29th will be something different. <laughs> I think this is another M that has 26 special, which is just funny. So you got a whole bunch of crazy random Pokemon in here that you can play around with if you want. And there's a method of getting rid of all of them, which I'll show in a minute. Let me see here. There's that Jinx, you gotta go down one more time. Before we do that, let me show you how to fix the fly locations. All you gotta do is just switch whatever you had in the 33rd slot back with the Pokemon that was originally in the 33rd slot. 
that you can see there in slot three. So I'll switch it back. There's my Butterfree. And everything's back to normal. So if we leave, try to fly away, it'll be back to how it was. What's funny is I don't actually have the Indigo League <laughs> like I did with the other one, so it actually corrupted it and gave me a fly location, which is pretty funny. So now I'm going to show you how to get a reasonable amount of Pokemon, as it said. So we're actually going to get 16 Pokemon instead of 124. We're going to come to this location. I'm also going to save a state too. All you have to do is just teach Mega Kick TM05, conveniently bought from the Celadon department store, to LM4. <laughs> we want to replace Double Slap. That will reduce the character count to 27. And now what we want to do is go back to the corruption spot that we initially used. Over in this house over here, a bunch of rockets. <laughs> They're all like sketchy characters, like that guy talks about the slots, or no, he talks about the poster. <laughs> this guy up here talks about the slots. This guy likes to get in the way. 2,000 Pokemon, nice job. Can you get out of the way now? Thank you. So come back here. There's two methods you can actually use to get corruptions. The best one in here, in my opinion, is this, the summary one. What that is, is to open your Pokemon summary, as implied, until you get corruptions. The wild encounter one that we used earlier in this would probably be best in Pokemon Yellow because Z4 loves to be problematic. Because if you do the summary method in Pokemon Yellow, Z4's cry goes on forever and it's a pain in the ass. So the method I used beforehand, like before this one, is good for Pokemon Yellow. For this one, definitely do this. As you can see, we actually already got it. We have two missing nose now. And I believe they're missing nose. They should be missing nose. Yeah. Because, like, in this game, it's hard to tell what's a missing and what's an M sometimes. Anyway. So we actually have 16 Pokemon. Here's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 17. We'll loop back around. You can see there. We'll go back up. And then boom, just like that. <laughs> so we have 16 Pokemon now, which is much more manageable. Now that we have reduced Pokemon count, what we need to do now is to terminate our name. Because that is problematic. It will not allow us to save. Most of the time. I swear I've been able to save before and my save file was okay with Super Glitch, but I think it's a locked base is the problem. So you're not always sure with this. It's still risky, so it's best just to get rid of your name. And to do that, we need to make way over here. Go back to this location. We've seen it before in Pokemon Yellow. And we do the exact same thing, just a summary method. Just keep opening this until we get our corruption, which I believe the best way to tell is if you can't open your Pokemon again. I'm surprised it hasn't worked yet, did it? No, it did work. Cool. Because usually when you see like a whole bunch of jargon in that fourth slot like that, that's usually enough to suffice. But yeah, you can see we no longer have a name. It is now blank. The next step we need to do Let's head to any Pokemon Center, doesn't matter which one. I'm just gonna stick with Cerulean though. That's because we just need to talk to the nurse. You don't want to heal your Pokemon just yet, it's best just to cancel out. This will enable saving. So now we can save our game with, I would say, 100% safety. That's a bit odd to say in Gen 1 because I feel like nothing's guaranteed in this game sometimes. Like, honestly. But if we reset here, this will allow us to save our game, and we should not get a corrupted save file. As you can see there, everything's back to how it was. There's no sprites here for these. I always think that's funny. I'm going to save another state real quick. Okay, after clearing out your name, what you want to do next is head over to the PC, because we are now going to clear out our expanded party. Best method for doing this is just deposit a Pokemon. We're going to deposit this Pachamp. Then you want to switch boxes. It's best for it to be an empty box, and then to start depositing cancels. <laughs> and thus they're called Machamps, which is pretty funny, and they also have that weird little tsk cry. I'm not even sure what to call that. 
These are actually Charizard M's, which if you remember, they're actually the equivalent of Q from Pokemon Yellow, which makes sense when you think about it. Because we had a whole bunch of Qs here when we did this in Pokemon Yellow. We should be getting pretty close here. Maybe one more. Oh, that was the last one. That's nice. So you can check here. You can see they are Charizard M's. And then, at this point, you can just release them if you want. It's nice to hold on to one because they're useful for a glitch later. You do need Charizard M because it acts just like Q does in Pokemon Yellow. So it might be good to hold on to one of these. But I'm not going to release all of them now. So you'll notice here that our party is no longer expanded. But we still have some hybrids. Before showing you how to fix that, let's check out the spoils from doing this glitch. <laughs> It did take quite a while to set up. Switch boxes. So we have the Gengar here. Nothing too special, like how its name was what it was when we had a corrupted name. Same with the Mew. Here's Pokedub Trainer. I will always call it Pokedub Trainer instead of Pokedubia Trainer. I think it sounds better. It's pretty neat. And then we have Index 204. We're going to withdraw this. <laughs> I'll put this in the front on our way to the daycare center. That's where we're going to go to, I guess, stabilize the hybrids. Hustle over there. See if I get a wild battle. That'd be nice. No? Okay. Well, we'll do it afterwards. Gonna save state. Alright, we're gonna start with the LM4, which did get turned into a Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen smash! Back already? Yes, please. <laughs> and it's back to normal. I'm not gonna view its moves because it has super glitch still and I don't want to mess with that. Unfortunately, we can't do this to fix any of the Pokemon with Fly, because it is an HM, but we can with Butterfree, so check this out. Since Butterfree was hybridized with a Missino, I believe this is what causes the issue. Because it had a glitch EXP amount, so it makes it seem like it was a lot of experience that it grew, but it didn't. It actually went back down to normal, back to 10, so it almost looped around, pretty much. But there's a way to avoid that, so let's check this out. Alright, to avoid that, just give a rare candy to the Pokemon that's hybridized with Missy No, this Butterfree for example, and that should fix the EXP problem, the glitch EXP amount. So once we give it to the dude and take it back, it should go back to normal. Wow, $100 for handing you a Pokemon. Thanks. <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of back to how it was. It actually gained two levels, which is kind of beneficial. And it's nice to do this because if I could say, for example, this was a Pokemon you actually cared about, not that I don't care about Butterfree, but like let's say if it was your starter, for example, it'd be nice to fix that. There's also another method of avoiding that, and I believe for this, this corruption, these two slots here will avoid these Pokemon from being changed or hybridized, and the first four they'll change. So for the Pokemon like this, for example, that have HMs, it might be good to put them at the bottom. I have a throwaway flyer, so not like it matters, really. But like, if you wanted to keep these Pokemon for every reason, it would be beneficial to keep them down here to avoid that. So let's check out 204 before wrapping up this video. I'm gonna go this way. I think it's gonna be faster than wrapping around from the long fence or whatever. Let's check out 204. It's actually kind of a familiar Pokemon. We've seen it before in part 10, the old man glitch. There was a glitch fight against Blue, he actually used this Pokemon. <laughs> I like that it plays this cry. It's a hybrid of Mankey. You can see I think it has Mankey, Mankey's moves, Scratch and Leer. I feel good to have fighting moves by now, but glitch Pokemon tend to not follow their counterparts to a T. Any day now, please. Thank you. <laughs> It plays that same cry, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Something interesting with this Pokemon, typically when you fight it and make it faint, it will have like a whole bunch of ends spread across the screen, but that doesn't seem to happen when it's on your side. Only the front sprite will do that, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, here's 204. 
I don't know much else about it. Just wanted to show it off really quick. If there's anything else more notable, it'll make a return. If not, here it is. <laughs> and that is this episode. Thank you guys for sticking with it. Might be a little bit of a longer one. It definitely took a little bit longer than usual to record, but I hope it turns out well. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.